blew into like a career, you know what I'm saying? And to even get to that aspect, you know, we have a seven. Oh, oh, man. What's a name? Ooh, you gonna put that out there? <laughs> no young man should have all that power. <laughs> <laughs> no one girlfriend right, should have right, all that right. power. Anyway, that's not a story though. But uh, uh, but you know, God bless her. She's you know, I hope she's Amen. doing well. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I thank I thank her for the subjects. Why? Good, good and bad. We've had some some, some great songs written. You know, but uh, but uh, but that was that was it. Thank God, and, and I healed from it. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I was that was it was interesting because it was probably one of the first times that, you know, I really got my heart broken. Like I really like oh. ran into a brick wall Not without you, without a mouth, mouth guard and, yeah. and, uh, and no helmet. And I just kind of like you know, had a concussion. It was really bad. But uh, but I, but it really grew from that. It grew to, you know, like to be like nominated for a Grammy is just. Ridiculous, twice in a row. So it's it's really with everything. My fans have challenged me to take this series to really like make this a business. We have at least a, a seven plus uh, person staff, and each staff member really was a fan who I quietly observed and slowly got close with. And eventually, put them in the team. It's like most of them would tell you it's very hard to get in my circle, my staff circle. But it's very hard to get out of it as well. You pretty much have to walk around with a I hate Eric Rowe. I crack. I was one that stole his laptop to be real. To get fired. You know what I'm saying? Whether in band or whether in whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's but but it's probably just as hard to get in it. You know what I'm saying? But uh but but you know the Grammy nomination, shout out to J B uh, uh James Bing. If he's in this room. Yeah, he had to go to it. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh. Right. All right, James got a performance yeah, tonight. Yeah, performance tonight. Right, all right. Well, you know, it's funny. In my staff, I have, you know, people who've been in the business uh, for years. And then we got this, the, the the ones who are just throwing rocks at Goliath. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so, you know, it's funny that we have a, a mixture of, you know, those brainstorming outside thinkers. And it was crazy. JB was the one who was like, Yo, you need to submit your stuff to Grammys because you will win that joint. I'm like... Uh, we are independent, and uh, you know, and he was like, "Yo, we need to submit it," and he like literally w- forced me to do like enter into the like the, you know the take academy. the like, right. a- academy, like you gotta work this, right. gotta work that, whatever. And like really, I will honestly tell you, because of him, that's the only reason we got nominated the first time. Like I, it was really because of him, and it was it was like the one who, not sure he with the nomination, there comes other outlandish out ideas. That may not work, but the beautiful thing is when one of them works, it's going to be so huge mm-hmm. because, truth be told, I've been in the industry for so long that I probably would not have believed that I could be nominated. Be At the same exactly. time, though, the climate is changing. For all the artists that are in this room, the climate is changing. The level of the playing field is getting very, very even. And truth be told, if you notice, like this is a very, very important thing I'm about to tell you now. Uh, if you notice, there's no female rap category in the Grammys because people weren't submitting enough uh, entries into it. So artists, don't think that you're not close enough to getting where you need to be at because if you, I I need you guys to submit because eventually it's very much, we can lose the urban alternative, we can lose literally R&B male vocal, you know what I mean? So we all kind of have to understand that it is the business of music, which I'll probably say 21 times tonight. And it, I, I really appreciate my staff for challenging me to always consistently remember that and apply it more and more as we go forward. Woo! 